Hello for you fiends and collectors, this is me, Daniel East 1000, back again with another Star Wars Bike Series figure review. Today we're going to be having a look at two figures that are somewhat the same. They do have some fairly big differences. But we're going to be having a look at the Mandalorian Imperial Stormtrooper and Incineration Stormtrooper. Two really, really cool figures and they both fall on from each other as you can see on the packaging artwork here which is absolutely gorgeous. And speaking of packaging, let's take a quick look at it now. So obviously this is the new style, of which is a massive facelift from the original. Of course you've got where the figure sits, name of the media that the character is from. Kind of interesting that they've put Star Wars The Mandalorian on this one, whereas this one's just got The Mandalorian. Um, on the side, you've got Star Wars The Black Series and a bit of that colour banding as well. And on the back, you've got a picture of the characters again and a bio of which I will include in the description below. Furthermore from that you've got the character number and a ton of lovely lovely legal garb which we're all too familiar with. That's the packaging pretty much in a nutshell out of the way and done with. I do love it just because they've switched it up a little bit, changed the shape of it from the original tired black packaging onto the figures themselves of which have somewhat made me eat my own words a little bit. When this figure was first announced that Hasbro were redoing the Stormtrooper sculpt. I was a little bit dubious. Flashback. But to me, I do feel like it's a massive misstep. Six months later. I I'm pleased to report, well done Hasbro, you've, you've done a good. So, first and foremost, let's take a look at this guy. And as I have the original, well, a version of the original Stormtrooper, just to compare, you can see a lot of differences, and that's with most of the improvements. Um, but that's not to say this figure is bad at all. The thing about Stormtroopers is, throughout the films, throughout the various medias that they're featured in, the costume design has changed, and that sort of goes hand in hand with production processes. Just because in A New Hope, the helmet did change all the way through from that film to Empire Strikes Back to even Return of the Jedi, and naturally, costumes have to be refitted and tweaked a little bit for certain actors and you know stand-ins and whatnot. So if you are new to the Star Wars for you collecting game, don't don't pass this guy up just because he's old. He's old but gold. I've done a review on him, check it out um, up there somewhere. It does feature a lot of different articulation. The articulation's solid on this one. This one does it a little bit better. Surprisingly. Let's take a look at this new stormtrooper though, of which is more based on the Rogue One Mandalorian Disney era, of which features some little tweaks in the original design, namely in the vents from what I've read on the uh, helmets there. So they've got these blue vents. In the original trilogy, these stormtroopers actually just had them blue vents painted on. For the new films, they've actually sculpted those in. So this figure sort of follows that because these are actually texture sculpted onto the helmet, which is nice to see. Just a side note as well, I'm not the biggest clued up nut about Stormtrooper armour. These are just things that I've sort of looked into. So, following on from this, in terms of this Stormtrooper uh, design, the blaster as well is slightly different, just because this is featured more of the Rogue One aesthetic, with the sight on the blaster itself, just on the side. I don't know how are you going to be able to see that? And at, uh, the ammo clip as well, which is a lot longer. Now, again, these Stormtroopers, um, they were first featured in Rogue One, but Hasbro have just put the Mandalorian on for these ones. Not sure why that is, but both Stormtroopers effectively feature in both because they're the same sort of costumes. For the most part, it's a pretty bog standard Stormtrooper, but I think the little variations and differences are. Surprisingly very warranted. It's it's a nice, nice Stormtrooper figure. And I think that helmet is really, really good. I think they've nailed that pretty damn well. Although, if you can check these over in the store, do so because much like the Clone Trooper helmets, these have been glued on to a head on the underside. You can't really see it that well on mine, but they've definitely done that again. I'm not sure why they have. So naturally, these have become warped because of the gluing process, and some of them look a right mess. My one, actually, surprisingly, isn't too bad in my opinion. I think it's uh, it's been well glued. If we continue on down the Stormtrooper, you've got these thinner ammo pouches, or 
pouches here, whereas the original one sort of has these more thicker ones. Something good about the original one as well is it actually features a holster, whereas this one doesn't. Which is a little bit disappointing, but it's it's no big biggie because I'm going to have him holding the blaster. One thing that I will say is slightly disappointing about this Stormtrooper is just it only comes with this blaster accessory. I would have liked to have seen more of a TIE Fighter pilot blaster, I'll show it there somewhere, included with this figure just because the original Stormtrooper did come with two blaster options. This only comes with one. I like options. It would have been nice to see that. And they've already got that sculpt. It's just a case of taking it from the Lando Calrissian solo figure and just painting it black and including it with this. And given that this figure is being repainted in the Remnant Stormtrooper, different blaster options would have giving it that sort of cobbled together sort of feel. But with that aside, it's it's a solid Stormtrooper figure. In terms of articulation, this guy has a ball jointed head. There's also a ball joint in the neck, so you get more variety in that pose in the head. Butterfly joints, of which is a biggie. That's, that's a big, big nice feature on this guy. Ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, but they do sort of bend at a nice natural angle like that. Ball jointed wrists, ball jointed torso, ball jointed hips, swivels at the top of the thigh, ball jointed knees, but again, this works really nice and does look natural, so fair dues on your Hasbro there. I do like my door hinge knees, but I think I've come to accepting this now, and for the most part, you, you're getting it right, you're getting it right. So you got ball jointed ankles as well with rocker joints. So you can get this guy in, Pretty much the same amount of poses as the original one, and it also looks slightly more natural as well, which is great. So that's the base of the Stormtrooper. I'll just give you a little look round at this guy. I'm really, really impressed with him. And the articulation and whatnot is effectively the same on this fella. It's effectively the same figure except it just comes with a lot more accessories and it kind of makes me feel why didn't we get any more accessories with this guy it's a little bit cheeky that has broke but this guy big this guy got big things going on just really really honking and i love the paint apps i think the paint apps on this one just bring something a little bit different to the table, something a little bit more interesting because this one is featured in the mandalorian interestingly it's a design that's taken pretty much straight from the Force Unleashed video game. So that's the media where we first sort of saw one of these guys. And to see the team at Lucasfilm and Mandalorian take stuff from original canon or expanded universe stuff is just pretty damn awesome. And to have a figure of this in six inch scale is super, super cool to see. And if we ever do get a Starkiller Black Series figure, this would fit in pretty damn well with that as well. If we have a look around at this figure, it's like I said, same figure, just got red paint apps, and markings on the legs and on the armor, just to denote that it is a incinerator stormtrooper. And well, <laughs> as evident by the honking big flamethrower attachment, you can sort of see that. So you can take this flame piece off, so that's one of the accessories. And then the other accessory is this flamethrower. Now it is actually attached via this long cable which runs all the way along around onto the figure's gas canisters on the back. So um, it, you can't really take this blaster off or particularly store it anyway. You kind of have to have the figure carrying it. Um, it would have been nice if there was somewhere to store it just on the figure. I do believe you can take this backpack off if you so wish and you can take it off the pauldron just because there's some pegs here which you can detach but uh, I've not really attempted it myself so I really do love that flamethrower accessory though it's just something very very unique very very chunky about it I don't know this guy just looks really really intimidating of course he's got the harness there and the pauldron just really really striking particularly when you include this piece as well 
of which it slots in really nicely into the gun. It can be quite top heavy with that, but you can get it into a nice sort of grounded pose to stop it from falling over. Uh, with all the articulation that it comes with, you shouldn't have any problems with that really. So yeah, that's just a little look at both of these figures of which are absolutely tremendous. I think this new Stormtrooper sculpt, as sceptical I was, has um, really surprised me in a really good way. So well done Hasbro on that. Shouldn't have doubted you. Although I do wish that this one did come with a couple more accessories. And I think the factory errors on some of these guys do make it fall flat. But if you get a good one like this, um, yeah, you're on to a winner. You're, you're going to be in for a good time, that's for sure. So that's a look at these two fantastic figures. What do you guys think? Just let me know in the comments down below. And which one do you actually prefer? I'm definitely more of a incinerator stormtrooper kind of guy. That's all I've got to say in this review. And this is me, Daniel East 1000, signing out and thank you very much for watching.